Today, we are in Florida, and I'm gonna tell you what, I think your mind's gonna be blown with some of the brand new tools just announced by Ryobi, not Ryobi. Yeah, that is a rear time killer battery power. We got some brand new mowers with some awesome technology, and well, him. If you're looking for landscaping tools, hold off, don't get them yet. You're gonna be amazed with everything we show you in this video. And yeah, we even got some drama. Was that a fight? You'll see. So sit back, relax, and get ready to see all of the coolest tools just announced a couple days ago in Orlando, Florida by Ryobi. I think you're gonna be blown away. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at their brand new mower that's coming out next month. It's all wheel drive. I'm gonna let Ryobi explain it to you. Our newest model that's going to be launching here in about a month is our 40 volt HP um, all wheel drive whisper mower. So, again, it has everything that you see in this, but we step it up again as we come as we always do. And we have all wheel drive and we have uh, whisper technology. So, why is all wheel drive important? Well, number one, you can turn it on and off. So, a customer can go all four wheels powered or turn it off and just have two wheels powered. But in very bumpy terrain, side hill lies it allows the customer to keep that straight line and keep a con consistent cut through that uh, mostly on side hill lies or hilly uh, yards customers will go up and down obviously you guys know that you don't want to go in the same direction every time you cut so the, this gives the customer the ability to switch and go horiz horizontally along that and not create ditches in their yard and it also keeps a straight line as you're going on that side hill uh, really eager for you to try this it's really cool you could tell we didn't put it on the one that's naturally quiet because it's 13. We w went and put it on our most powerful 21 inch mower and it's, you know, it's tremendously quiet. We've intentionally reduced sound. And, and I think the second point is on blowers, we're on iteration three, four, five. And you can see it when you get to the blower station, how we've progressed and really taken out. So this is an evolution. This is just where it's starting. And we're continuing to attack where that sound's coming from to get quieter and quieter. Because the point is, everyone's been working from home and everybody now knows that they've been up interrupted time and time again every day by gas loud pro loud gas product and it's that that pain points there and we want to take care of it with our cordless products and not just be quiet but also be quiet in the cordless category now they did mention they are extremely proud about the made in usa they are assembled in anderson in the united states of america and i have a feeling that they are going to be doing a lot more here in the states when it comes to not only assembling but hopefully the entire manufacturing process now this is what i love innovation check out that slider right there and what it actually does to the mower Check this out, no more plugs when you want to do mulching. They did redesign basically the self-propelled motion, all the controls up on top, which I liked, and it's a two battery system, but they gave you a key that you can switch back and forth through batteries. Now let me show you, this is a brand new 12AH battery, 12 amp hours. It's going to give it double the run time, so this mower is going to be able to run with the two batteries probably around an hour and a half, which is real nice lag. That said, it does come with the 6AH instead of the 12. Would have liked to have seen it the other way around. Let's move it to the next This tool. is the first ever cordless rear time tiller on the market. It comes with uh, four 40 volt packs, so we're taking a lot of what we've learned on the two-stage snowblower on the ZTRs and we've applied it here. We've used that technology to give us the power that we need to be able to not just compete about, you know, against 30 cc engines, even 200 cc engines, right? So now these are competing about, uh, keep competing against much larger gas engines out of the market. Um, so, you know, we do have the One Plus cultivator here, obviously ideal for small gardens, uh, very tight spaces. We have a front time tiller that's also hitting the market this year. This front time tiller is actually the quietest front time tiller in its class, okay? Um, and I'll show you here just how quiet this is. It's very easy to start. You just hit this button right here and pull the bail, and you can hear the time go off. So easy, you can use with one hand, really not pushing or having to pull back on this at all. I definitely want to get your hands on this today. Rear time tiller, same concept here. It's, just, it's as easy as a push of a button, right? Uh, we've integrated some other innovative features as well, like the transport mode. So a lot of the gas tillers you'll see out there today, they have one engine, and when you run the tines, you have to run the wheels, right? And so you can't, you can't really, you, in order to transport it from A to B to get to your plot where you're gonna, where you're gonna have a little garden, you're gonna have to disengage the wheels and be able to you know, push it yourself. And these things are you know, 150 to 200 pounds, they're very heavy. 
So we've integrated a transfer mode where you can actually run the, the, the wheels without running the tines. You just have to lift the tines off the ground. So I'll show you how much power there is here. I'm going to start it for you guys and then I'll let you get your hands on it. But it's as simple as pushing this button here and pulling the bail. I could not believe the instant torque, the instant power that this thing had. And yes, battery power, obviously you got the instant torque, but the thing was well put together. They had a lot of cool features, even up in the front right here, you can actually weigh this thing down. Yep, you could throw sand, you could throw rocks or whatever else, kitty litter, I don't care. You could throw it in there and it's gonna give you a little bit more weight. You also got that bull bar up in front, you can tie some weights to, and that's gonna give you some more weight up in the front if you needed to. So that, it's real nice like. I kind of skipped over it briefly, but there is a lot of other innovative tool or innovative features on this. One of them is the wheels, right? So obviously you need the wheels to get from point A to point B very easily. But what happens is if you leave the wheels down, you won't be able to till as deep as you need to, right? So we've designed it in to make it as easy as possible. You just pop it out, pop it up, hmm. and now you're able to dig deeper with the front nice. tire. That's yeah. cool. Yep. Yeah, that is cool. You have diff three different settings. And then, uh, obviously, you know how quiet it is, but same same concept here. You have a bull bar, so the more weight you add, the less it's going to vibrate on you as you're tilting. Cool? So you add weight to that bull bar? All right, pretty cool. We got a couple new electric power washers. This is a 3000 PSI electric power washer. They also have a very compact pressure washer right here. But this one was my favorite. Listen how quiet. Yeah, you're running off of 240 volt batteries right now. These are 24H batteries, which will come with this unit if you were to buy it. Now we did cover these tools, these new outdoor power tools in a previous video, which I'll link at the end of this video here. We did run into a little bit of drama during the shooting of this video here. I do wanna let you know that yes, the weed eaters, the brand new 40 volts, interchangeable heads, all new attachments. They're really, really cool, but I wanna show you something. This right here is Clint from Pro Tour Reviews. Yes, his first name is Awesomeness. Why? You know, because my first name is also Clint. I believe he's actually on low mode on the string trimmer, but it is beastly. Not only that, let me show you this. This right here. Well, it's gonna blow you away. You like it? Yeah. And that's my dude Dan from Tools in Action cleaning cars. It's a one-handed Ryobi sprayer. Pretty cool. They up these up to uh, 600 PSI, I believe. One battery goes in. It's protected with that case right now. Now, this is where the drama started a little bit. Now, I will tell you, we already covered these leaf blowers in a previous video. Again, I'll put that at the end of this. The Whisper Series is the strongest, most powerful, and the most quiet out of them all. So look for the Whisper Series. But let me show you some of the cool things that I didn't show you in the last video. Listen, this backpack blower is a freaking beast. And it got a turbo. It'll last up to two minutes. And then you just hit it again. And it'll start up again. But this thing is a monster. Listen to it. Listen, cuz, let me try that leaf blower. I ain't scared of no leaf blower, cuz. Hey, what, what is going on, cuz? Oh, oh, put me down, cuz. What is this leaf blower? Oh. All right, before I show you the coolest tool out of them all, at least I think so anyway, I wanna get to the drama that happened at Ryobi. 
Just let me explain this to you. Right here, she is telling us all, listen, yes, it is actually pronounced Ryobi, not Ryobi. You can see her very clearly. It's pronounced Ryobi, not Ryobi. She told us not to say anything, that I was right, that TRZ is actually correct on how you pronounce Ryobi. But as soon as she told us that we were allowed to turn the mics on, this is what happened. All right, so I'm gonna get final confirmation here. It is actually pronounced Ryobi, correct? It's Ryobi. Hey, what's up everybody? Hey, my name is Fred. I just wanna let you know that uh, it is pronounced Ryobi, not Ryobi, but li listen, li let's not bring this out into the public, okay? You know, it's hard to say that we've been wrong and the TRZ is right, but uh, you know, j just don't post anything about that. <laughs> They'll never know. Conspiracy? I believe so. All right, so even though they had some really awesome chainsaws and we covered these all in the last video, I wanna bring you to the thing that I am most excited about. Let's just take a look right now. believe as we launch products like this with all the power of 80 volt of 80 volt of 80 volt yeah you heard them right brand new 80 volt battery along with an 80 volt charger uses your standard 110 and also charges in an hour the new mowers i'm going to show you uses the 80 volts and can use the 40 volts as well all right so how's this going to work so this will mount to the wall it's wall, mount wall mountable or it can lay on the ground or there's places to rest it on the rider it okay. will plug into your normal outlet in your garage or your shed wherever it may be and then it will just very easily and simply plug right here into the charging port so the customer can be charging the unit so it'll charge it'll charge all the batteries in there the 40 and it volts. charges yeah and on this particular one it'll charge it in like three hours can we see uh can you take one of the 80s out absolutely that simple that's one of the 80 volts. And you can, right you can kind of imagine where this can go. I mean, we have platforms in all of our other voltages. And this gives us the ability down the road to start to dream up more products that can work with this as well. And can we see the, is, uh, the 12 AH in there? Uh, yeah. So these are just announced, right? Correct. 40 volt, 12 amp hour battery. That's awesome. The, 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 the 42 inch will be sold with two of these 80 volts and two 40 volts. And then the, the up 50, to two acres of runtime. And then 54 the, inch will be loaded up three at 80 volts and four 40 volts. That's awesome. 12 amp hours. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Feels in action. What's up? The new Ryobi one stick. Dude, what do you think, man? Honestly, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. Uh -huh. It's weird at first, yeah. but the more I drive it, the more I get used to it. Yeah. If I never came from stick right. or from the handlebars, yeah, you'd be fine. I would instantly gravitate and know it but it's just hard to get used to that but yeah. i think once i do i mean having the freedom of one hand is pretty amazing plus it has like a cruise control yeah it's know? awesome right which is cool so i won't hit you i definitely agree with dan i've never driven one of these with the joystick before so it was a little bit strange but as soon as i got comfortable with it it was awesome super super responsive when you turn that joystick it was just really fun now the control panel, you can change a lot of different modes on this, but easily seen in the bright Florida sun, the joystick, that was really, really cool and very comfortable. You got your USBs here, you got a key here, you got one of those buttons that you push and if you get clogged up, it shoots all the grass out the back, we're in your neighbor's yard. <laughs> Basically, this thing won't clog. You got your on and off. You can tow on this thing. It was so cool. You got your batteries, depending on the size of the mower you go with. You got those bright LED lights. But yeah, you can put the 40 volts in. You can put three different 80 volts in plus those 40 volts. This thing, the larger one, the 54-inch cut, will cut just over four acres on a full charge. And you're looking at about a three-hour charge-up time with all those batteries in there. So that is really good with four acres. That is a game changer. That is sweet. Now, I do want to let you know that one 80 volt, 10 amp hour battery, you're looking around $800, but you'll get three year warranty on those things. Again, there's a 42, the 54, and the 30 inch cuts right there. And I, listen, I'm six foot tall. It was extremely comfortable to sit on that seat, is no joke. Very, very simple to operate once you get used to it. I was really excited about everything they had to show, but this is probably, well, it's my favorite. Listen, Ryobi definitely stepping it up. They are bringing their A game and they're really 
changing, I would think, the way we look at outdoor power equipment. They're doing a fantastic job, and I can't wait to bring this to you. Look at that. It even has your little 92% how much more battery power. You can change so many different modes. You get Bluetooth. You can run these on an app. It gives you all the information. So awesome. You also got some storage options here where you can put your cell phone and all that good stuff. Deck adjustment, super easy to use. Again, I'm six foot tall. Very, very comfortable. Got a nice build, nice quality feel to them. The sky's the limit right now for Ryobi, not Ryobi. And I, I don't know. I want to know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. What did you like? Was it the mowers? Was it the blowers? Was it the weed eaters? Was it the new pressure washers? Was it the rear tine? Tiller, that thing was really cool. I'm telling you, super powerful. I'm glad they're coming out with the new 12 AH batteries. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about these new Ryobi outdoor power tools. Again, I am super excited about them. I want to thank Ryobi, not Ryobi, for allowing us to come down here and show the subscriber base all of the new stuff that they got coming out. I thought that was really cool. If you want to see more videos like this, please do not forget to smash that like button. It is greatly appreciated. Get subscribed, hit that bell notification, and check out this video right here. We'll be back with more videos soon.